Hey, peace family. What's going on? It's Quinez with Too Smart to Be Broke. I want to thank you for coming to the channel. If it's your first time here, I do talk a lot about business credit. Really, my goal is to share with you information that can help you succeed as uh, making money online, getting passive income, multiple streams of income, getting business funding. I talk a lot about all of these topics, okay? So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned because we're going to be talking a little bit more about business credit. I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. To be broke. All right, family. Look, today I'm going to be talking about how to get a business credit card without having a real business. And if you're interested in that, please share, like, and subscribe if you dig the information that I give. Okay. So if it's your first time here and you never heard about business credit before, I actually have an ebook. I'll put a link up here and a link in the description. In layman's term, it's pretty much just a business credit profile can build credit off of its EIN or employee identification number. The same way, a uh, similar way that an uh, individual can build a credit profile with a social security number. Okay. Uh, so it just allows for the business to get funding and ventures and grow without actually tapping into your uh, savings and your personal income like that. All right. So this video was at the time about getting a business credit card uh, without a business. And it was inspired by, I'm sorry, brother, I, I don't remember your name, but he dropped down in one of my comments on my videos and saying, hey, you can get a business credit card with a, uh, uh, with a sole proprietorship and an EIN. You don't even need to get an LLC. And uh, this, this, is, this is a fact. This is a fact. You can't do that. So let me share, you, share with you how I feel about it real quick. Let me say this before I move forward. One, I'm not a, I'm not a guru. And uh, two, I'm, I'm not a mentor. I'm just simply a brother out here sharing information with you. And uh, hopefully some of this information resonates with you and can plant some seeds and help you uh, progress in life and with your business. Okay. So if you don't know what a sole proprietor is, a sole proprietor is pretty much somebody who's doing business from their sole individual uh, aspect. Okay. So that means if I'm John Doe and I'm having a catering service, I'm doing business as John Doe's catering. Okay. So I can do business at John Doe's catering and I can even start open up a business account at most banks, uh, institutions as John Doe's catering. And I may not even need a DBA for John Doe's catering. Okay. Uh, just because the name is within the actual, uh, entity itself or how I'm, how I'm operating, you know, if I was John Doe. Okay. So if you did want a little bit more separation, from the public, you can actually go to uh, get a DBA, a doing business as name or assume name certificate. Uh, usually you can get those at the county, county level, uh, maybe secretary of state from a certain other level, but from the county level, uh, check, we check with your city and county. Okay. Or Paris, wherever you at. And uh, when you get that, you can actually be exquisite catering service rather than John Doe's catering service. Cause you want to actually have that distinct difference in the name when you're operating, uh, when you're dealing with the public. So, uh, that's one aspect of, of it, right? So you can actually get the employee identification number, the EIN for free. You can get that from a sole prop standpoint. And from there, you can go to places like Chase Inc. and stuff or get you a Chase card. And uh, I talked about getting the Chase card. And actually, uh, I put a I put a link in below if you're actually interested in getting a, it's a referral link if you're interested in getting a, a Chase business card. Um, so the, the good things about this is it's free. The EIN is free. And then it's it's cheap if you want to get a DBA and it's easy. It's easy to do. You know, you 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 have the individual name, your your name, and then from there you just go out and start doing business. You, you can get your business bank account and everything. You know, you can use your personal address, you know, use your phone number, you can you can do that, you know, and if that's something you wanted to do to, to get started and get going, then that that's on you. But I know people do stuff for different reasons because some of these cars have great flight rewards, great hotel benefits. And you're just like, man, if I could just get that business credit card, I can get those rewards and those benefits. And if that's something you want to do, then by all means do that. So the reason I don't never talk about that stuff in depth, because I mentioned it, but I was like, yo, this dude, this brother's right. Everybody's on a different mission. You know what I mean? So some people might be looking at my pen is like a shortcut, the short rock, you know, just to go and get to it. And you got to do what you got to do. I always say, if you got to be a hustler, hustle. If you got to start a sole proprietor just from where you at, do that. I applaud people that is, that's at least in business. So you start understanding that, that you start, you got the mindset, you're already operating. So I'm never going to take away from anybody operating to do what they do to get to make the ends meet now. Okay. So, uh, but the next level is actually starting to, you know, LLC or something like that. One, the tax liabilities, you know, is better. Uh, you know, you, it's a, it's a chance to get 
uh, better funding, more of abundant funding. You partner with people, do all types of stuff, creative partnerships and stuff, so you can increase your funding. And keep in mind, this is commerce over here. Uh, we, we're dealing in commerce. So all it simply means is it's capitalism in, in the United States. So the more people you can employ or the more tax dollars that, the more dollars that you can circulate that's getting taxed, uh, the more they gonna have that benefit for, for uh, uh, entities operating in that capacity. So if you can put more dollars in circulation, that's going to be taxed and you can actually, uh, you, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's better for the system, the, the algorithm, you, you know, the, the, the stuff that the United States actually built on. Okay. Um, so from you doing this from a sole prop level, it's not, you know, as far as hiring employees and, uh, and, you know, getting an abundance of like stuff for your fictitious entity as a business. Cause if you didn't know a corporation is a person, you know, so what I mean by that legally, it is a person. So fictitious person, the money is fiat currency. It might as well be monopoly money. We're not going to have this conversation right now, but what I'm saying is you got to think about who created this system that we're in. All right. And what benefits this system? You know, did they, did they teach us to go to school to be employers or did they teach us in the school to be employees? So when you start thinking about how to be an employer, that information they didn't teach us, it has more benefits over, from an overall perspective. But it does take us to educate ourselves and to learn a little bit more about that stuff because all this information I'm sharing, I'm still a child when it comes to this information, but I'm simply sharing information with you because uh, one, it was very helpful and beneficial for me and then the light bulb went off of my head and you know it allows me to kind of be be a little bit sharper and better when it comes to the information so not to get off topic i just want to make a simple video and tell you yes you can go out and get business funding uh, uh with a sole proprietor and just using your name ein social security number but it will be linked they are linked because the business is a sole person but you know if you're somebody like me who's moving towards uh, building generational wealth being able to have a, a entity live long term and be able to pass stuff down and stuff operating uh for years and years to come then you know uh, in my opinion you want to start actually looking at these other entities uh you know and actually studying and understanding them you know uh, but if you're looking for something just to get started a it's understood dba uh sole proprietor ein um, but I, that's not, I can't recommend that to you. I can just tell you that I understand that you got to do what you got to do with wherever you at. Now, if you, I always say, if you're looking to come in here and, you know, want me to coach you on just how to get a check so you can flee the country, I'm not here to do none of that. You know what I'm saying? So do with this information as you please, but consult your attorney, consult your accountant, uh, you know, cover your assets. Because this is not, I'm not none of them things. I'm just sharing information. It's a uh, matter of fact, entertainment purposes. I have to run it by you one more time. But... Uh, so I just want to make this real quick video on that topic because I was like, man, the brother, right, man, everybody do stuff for different reasons. And, um, this is a community. I'm, I'm not here to tell you to do something one way. I always do your own research and do what resonates with you. If you're interested in getting business credit, then I got a step-by-step ebook below. Also, if you need business credit monitoring to monitor your scores, it's an affiliate link below, man. It's free, it's free to sign up. I get $8, uh, per per business that signs up even on the free version so if that's you much appreciated but thanks for coming to this channel and drop down in the comments hit me up on instagram at too smart to be broke too smart to be broke at gmail.com and i'm doing consultations man 30 dollars for 30 minutes as of right now um so i'm still working on getting everything set up but if you go to too smart to be broke.com slash consult there'll be a link in the description for that as well and that's it, family. I love y'all. Peace. I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke.